Welcome to my tutorials on Euclid's Elements, Book 8. This video presentation is going to be on Proposition 2 of Book 8. And it is a construction proposition, so um, we are going to start with a ratio of a to b, where a to b are the least numbers. And we are going to construct a series of numbers of any length where they are in constant proportion, where f is to g is g is to h, and so on and so forth, in the ratio of a to b. And they will be the numbers that are the least numbers able to represent this series of numbers in continuous proportion. So as an example for this, if we take the ratio of 2 thirds, and we want to have a uh, series of four numbers that are um, always in the same proportion, so that f to g would be two-thirds, g to h would be two-thirds, and h and k would be two-thirds. What numbers f, g, h, and k would we use for this? And in this particular example, f would be eight, g would be 12, h would be 18, and k would be 27. So 8, 12, 18, 27 is the least numbers or the smallest numbers that can be used in a series that represents the ratio of 2 thirds. So how do we construct this series? Well, first we start off and we create three new numbers, c, d, and e, where c is equal to a squared, d is equal to a, b, and e is equal to b squared. And at this point, we could stop and say, well, we have a, um, a, ser a series of three numbers, and they're in continuous proportion to um, a and b, and we'd be satisfied. But what if we wanted to go to, say, a series of four? So what we do then is we continue to multiply c, d, and e by a. So we take f, which will be a multiplied by c, so in other words, a cubed. We take g, and that will be a multiplied by d, and we get a squared b, and we take e, and again we multiply it by a to get a b squared, and lastly we construct the last element of the series as the last element of the previous one multiplied by b. In this case we get b cubed. And in this construction and this proposition, it states that if we construct the numbers this way, f, g, h, and k are the least numbers where f is to g and g is to h, h is to k, in other words, continuous proportion, where it equals the ratio of a to b. So to prove that this construction works, let's look at um, the proof. So first, we're going to show that everything is proportional. Now C and D is A multiplied by A and B, so C and D has the same ratio of A to B. Likewise, D and E is B multiplied by A and B, so D and E have the same ratio as A to B. And since C and D and D and E are both equal to A and B, then they are also equal to each other. Now f and g is going to have the same ratio as c to d because it's just c to d multiplied by a. And f to g is equal to c to d, and c to d is equal to a, b. So we have these equalities. Now g and h is just d and e multiplied by a. So again, g and h has the same ratio as d to e. And d to e is equal to a to b, so we now have this equality. And h is e multiplied by a and b respectively, which means that h to k is equal to a to b. Now this is all coming from propositions 17 and 18 of book 7. 
So to summarize what we have, we have f to g is equal to a to b. We have g to h is equal to a to b. We have h to k is equal to a to b. So I just rewrote it here on one line to show the continuous proportion f to g, g to h, h to k, and they are in the ratio of a to b. And a and b are the least ratio. That was, remember, we defined that as the starting point. So according to Proposition 22 of Book 7, that means that a and b are relatively prime. So if a and b are relatively prime, since c and e are just the squares of a and b respectively, then according to Proposition 27 of Book 7, c and e are also relatively prime. And similarly, f and k are also relatively prime, again, because a and b are. So we have that f and k are relatively prime, f, g, and h, k, so, sorry, since f and k are relatively prime, and we have the ratio of f to g equals g to h equals h to k is equal to a to b, then according to the previous proposition of this book, in other words, proposition one of book eight, if f and k are relatively prime, which we have shown that they are, then they are the least numbers where f, g, h, k are in proportion and equal to the ratio of a to b. So thus we have constructed our series based on a particular fraction, and we've constructed the least numbers that satisfy the conditions. From this, we have a porism, which basically um, means that we didn't prove it directly, but we proved it um, indirectly. So if three numbers are in continuous proportion, so a, b, and c, or sorry, c, d, and e, then the extremes are squares. So c and b, sorry, c and e are squares. And if we have four numbers, then the extremes of this ratio, they will be cubed. So f will be cubed and k will be cubed. So this is just the porism is that the um, extremities of a series will be squares or cubes or whatever, depending on the length of your series, if those are the least numbers that can be used to represent that ratio.